This is an alternative uh, method for smoothing skin that I wanted to show you, and it was developed by uh, one of our other Kelby training instructors, Eddie Tapp, who's done a number of courses here. And in fact, this technique I'm about to show you may well be included in one of Eddie's um, online courses with us. So you may be seeing something you have seen in Eddie's classes. Um, but Eddie developed this this technique actually for a legendary wedding and portrait photographer, Monty Zucker, when Monty wanted to find a way in Photoshop to recreate the you know famous traditional soft tar filter. So Eddie came up with this way of softening the highlights and the shadows to create a very nice skin look. And it's a very glamorous skin look. And I wanted to include it here so you can kind of see how it looks. But I just want to let you know the full credit for this development of this particular technique certainly goes 100% to Mr. Eddie Tapp, who is just a wonderful guy and a great trainer. Um, here's Before we do any retouching on skin softening, you have to get rid of blemishes first. So let's just go in real quick, and there's not many here, but let's just get rid of these really quickly. Just kind of get rid of these right here. Just real quick, get rid of the most obvious ones. Just some minor stuff here and there, nothing... Nothing too bad. Let's get. Whoops! I just changed. Just changed tools for no apparent reason. I actually hit the trying to hit the bracket keys on my keyboard and didn't quite get there. Let me just get rid of some of these and then we'll be ready to go. But that's the that's the key. I have to remind people and myself sometimes that um, you want to get rid of blemishes first before you apply any skin softening. Get rid of those first and then skin softening will be, be much better and you'll have less. Whoops less work to do. It's fun hearing the word whoops. Anytime you're listening to a tutorial, you hear whoops. It's just it's just good. All right. All right, that'll get kind of get us going. All right, so we've gotten rid of all the blemishes. Now there's one more I gotta get rid of. Okay. Now we're ready to do our, our skin softening, so let's drop this down a little bit. Um, step one is to duplicate the layer. And then Eddie has come up with a very nice way for you to figure out a good starting place for how much blur to apply using the Gaussian blur filter. And Eddie says that you can either use the Gaussian blur or the surface blur. Um, go up under the image menu under image size and take a look at how many megs your image is. Or you, can, you can actually just look right down here in the bottom corner of your screen if you have your thing set to... Um, to show document sizes, which is what my default is. But in case yours isn't, just go to image size, and you'll see this thing is 23 meg. So you know to blur your image, 23 pixels. So we'll go to blur, Gaussian blur, type in 23, get a nice blurry image. You're going to go over here to the layers palette and change your blend mode from normal to darken. All right, and it actually creates kind of a nice, uh, almost a painted effect to your image. But what you're going to do then is you're going to drop the um, the opacity. Uh, Eddie recommends between 30 and 40 percent. So we'll we'll split the difference. We'll go to 35 percent right there in the middle. All right. Now you're going to duplicate this darkened layer again. You're going to duplicate it, but this time you're going to switch the mode from darken to lighten, and we're going to set this one actually up. So we're going to move this up to uh, around the 60% area. And you can see pretty much, I want to hide these two layers here real quick, and you can see how much it's a, it's a pretty dramatic amount of softening that we've applied. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to uh, hold the command key and select both layers. So both layers are selected. All right, on PC you'd hold, of course, the control key. Now, you're going to hold the shift key, and then click on the new set icon. It's going to put both of those um, layers into their own group. A little uh, kind of there it is, their own group right there. All right. So you there. That's the reason why you do this is so you can apply effects to both layers at the same time. All right. All right. What we want to actually do is apply a layer mask. So we're going to click the layer mask icon right here. So now we can decide uh, what parts of the image we still want to have. Um, full detail. So we'll grab a paintbrush. Now you're going to paint over the areas that you want to remain sharp. So now you could of course leave everything nice and soft like this, but if there's areas you want to remain sharp, you're just going to paint over like her eyes. You would want sharp. Her eyebrows, you would want sharp. Now it's hard to do that with a bigger brush, right? So we're going to vary the size of the brush. If you're using a Wacom tablet, of course this is a no-brainer, but I'm going to have to do it manually here. There we go. All right, so let's go in here, maybe the little nostrils, and we're going to paint over the lips to make them nice and sharp. There we go. Now she's wearing jewelry. We're going to have to paint over that as well. There we go, and we'll have to shrink the size of the brush to get up under here. Everything that should have detail, you're going to paint over. 
Alright, kind of all the way around here, get that. And uh, let's see what else. Oh, probably her hair, eh? So, get a nice big brush, bring back that detail in her jacket here, paint over all of that. There we go, something like uh, I was trying to get too much ear. There we go. Paint over there. All right. So you can see how much softer the skin is. Take a look. I mean, that really softened it up nicely. But you can still see some skin texture. It is pretty, pretty smooth. But if, if I were to zoom in a little, you can see there is still some skin texture there. So you have to decide, because you have this opacity slider, how much skin texture you want to show through. You can just lower the opacity. And the more you lower it, the more skin texture will show through. Uh, I, to me, I don't think I'd leave it at the 100%. I think I would back it off a bit, uh, something in maybe the 70% range. You really start to bring back the texture, but look how it smooths and contours everything. It really does a, a very, very nice job of smoothing and contouring. Now, you can also go the other way. You could leave it at 100, and Eddie also says you can duplicate the layer, duplicate the whole group, and then you get that extreme level of softening, and may, maybe you split the difference. Maybe you drop that to 50%. So you wind up from there to here with a very, very, very soft effect. But again, it's up to your personal taste. To me, that's a bit extreme. Again, I would drop this. Not only would I only do one of them, uh, I would go to 70%. But honestly, it's it's not for me to determine. This is for you to decide the level of softening you want. And I wanted to show you another way to do it. So thanks to Eddie for coming up with this wonderful technique that uh, lets you apply kind of the soft tar effect and have control of it after the fact.